Good morning! How are you doing? I hope you had an awesome, amazing week. Today, I am going to tell you a story that is one of the most wonderful stories in the Bible. And it has something to do with food. Hmm. So I wonder, what do you usually pack for your lunch? Or maybe the adult in your household packs for lunch. What type of thing do you like to eat? Or what are your favorite foods for dinner? Mm, I wonder. Well, I like a lot of things. My most favorite food is soup, although I don't ever pack much. I, well, I shouldn't say I don't pack it in a brown bag, but I do bring it for lunch sometimes at work. Now, what is your favorite food? Well, the story today is all about, not all about, but it is about food and about this boy who packed lunch. Are you curious to know? Well, it's a wonderful story. The other thing I wonder before I tell you the story is, have you ever shared food with somebody? Like I know nowadays it's in schools, you're not supposed to share your food because of allergies, of kids who may have an issue with allergies and your food might not be do well with somebody else. I have to say when, where I grew up, I'm from a country called Brazil. And one of the first things in our culture that they teach you as a child is you always have to share your food. So even if you get something, if you buy something, you first offer to everybody near you and then you eat, which is very different than here, right? But I understand here in schools, they do that to keep you safe, just in case if you offer anything to somebody else and you do not know that they have allergies that could make them sick. But that is not the story. I'm going to tell you the Bible story today. At a time that it was totally okay to share food. Are you curious to know? Well, let me tell you the story. And the story today is called Jesus Feeds 5,000. Wait, what? Did you hear that right? Yes. Jesus feeds 5,000. And that's in the book of John 6, verses 1 to 14. As a matter of fact, this picture is the cover of the Bible where I'm reading the story from, which is Celebrate Wonder Bible story. So here's the story. A huge crowd followed Jesus and the disciples. Jesus looked at the crowd and said to Philip, There have to be over 5,000 people here, and they haven't eaten anything. Where can we buy food for these people? Philip knew that they could not buy food for that many people. Another disciple, Andrew, noticed a boy in the crowd who had five loaves of bread and two fish. Andrew brought the boy to Jesus. It isn't much, but this boy has some food, Andrew said to Jesus. The boy was happy to share his food. Jesus instructed the crowd to sit down. See in the picture? He said, sit down, everybody. Then Jesus took the bread and the fish and said, Dear God, thank you for our blessings. Jesus broke the bread and the fish and began passing it out to the people. Everyone in the crowd ate until each person was full. Jesus performed a miracle. Pick up what is left, Jesus instructed his friends. There were 12 baskets of food left. Isn't that story amazing? 
So not only didn't they didn't know where would they get food for 5,000 people. I mean, 5,000 people is a lot of people, right? I mean, I can't even imagine, like it's a huge crowd and they all came to hear Jesus, to hear his teachings. And then they realized, or Jesus and the disciples realized, those people are all hungry, but we have no food. And then there was this little boy with his little, maybe not a brown bag, but with his little lunch, or a lot of lunch, I have to say, because he had five loaves, which is, you know, a loaf of bread, five loaves and two fishes. Now you must think, who takes that type of food well, at that time, that's what people used to eat, right? So, we don't know. He carried that. Maybe it was for his family. So, you can always wonder. But he had this food. And he was the one who brought it to Jesus. Because Jesus always, always included the children, right? He didn't go to anybody else and said, find me food. No, that's who the disciples saw. And... That's who Jesus asked for. And the boy shared his food. Isn't that amazing? Now, are you curious to know what's in my bag? Let's see. So I wasn't able to fit five loaves of bread. But I took one piece of bread and divided it in five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Mmm, it smells so good. And do you think I have fishes in here? I have two fishes. Now, they're gold fishes, but that's okay, right? We are just pretending our story. So that's all I have for my lunch. And now I have a crowd of 5,000. How am I gonna do that? Jesus knew because he thanked God. He thanked God for what he already had because he know, knew that what he had was enough because God would take care of it. And so the miracle happened. He shared what he had, and it was enough for everybody, for all those 5,000 people. And they even had food left. Now, do you like goldfish? Mmm, and this bread is delicious. So I wonder, what are you going to have for your lunch? But before you take over, You know what amazes me more about this story? To feed all those 5,000 people, Jesus used the gift of a little boy. And that is awesome and amazing to know that Jesus always works through and with the children. In all the stories you can imagine in the Bible, you always see that Jesus works through and with children who always seemed to be near him. So Jesus made sure we knew that children, you are very important for him. Very important. And you are a very important part of all the stories he told us in the Bible, right? So he includes children. He includes you. And he wants to make sure you know that you are enough. You don't have to have anything else because if you trust Jesus, you know that you are enough. He will provide for the rest. Now, I wonder if you happen to have this week something more left. You might just in remembrance of that story of how important. Maybe you can share some your food. Maybe you can take some to your friends. Or, you know, you can put some in these little baggies and pass it out and share it with others. Or maybe near your house, I know here in Chelsea we have Faith in Action, 
which is a place that helps people who don't have a house to live or don't have enough money to buy food you can always help and get things from your pantry ask the adults in your house to help and share some food or something you have more than enough to help somebody else because that's all the lesson it's the miracle that God that Jesus performed and how we can pass it on sharing with others for Jesus you are precious in his sight and that's how he shared the gifts of that little boy with so many people you can share your gifts with other people you encounter nowadays now i want you to pray with me how about that should we pray together okay dear god show us ways we can help teach others about you thanks for reminding us that i am enough that you are enough and that with jesus there is always enough amen with jesus there is always enough remember that and remember to share what you got have a wonderful amazing week and i see you next week with more wandering time